Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle against my man Kevin, or Sharpedo43 on YouTube. If you guys like awesome Wi-Fi battle content, definitely give this man a shout. He is an awesome battler and a pretty cool YouTuber, so definitely check him out. Tell him I sent you. And uh, looking at his team, he's got he's got like all the damn birds here. He's got Zapdos, he's rocking the Skarmory, the Decidueye, and uh, he's also got the Swampert, Zygarde, and the, Sh <laughs> the Sharpedo, which... I guess is his uh, mascot or whatever, so that's pretty cool. Look at my team. I actually stole this team from PokeMMD. It looked like a really interesting team. Uh, definitely got some mons that you don't really see in OU often, and uh, kind of caught my eye. So, what OU team wouldn't be complete without a Landorus? So, of course, we have a Landorus on our team. We also have the Magirna, a Zapdos of our own, the Gastrodon, which is really cool. You never see these things in OU, but it can definitely work. We also have the little fetus guy, Reuniclus. And uh, the star of the show here, at least, well, not in this battle, but we have the uh, Alolan Golem here. So, PokeAim said that the Alolan Golem was to trap things like Heatran and Magnezone. Obviously, my opponent has neither of those on his team, so... Unfortunately, Alolan Golem really didn't get to shine this battle, but uh, <laughs> I actually had one battle where uh, it definitely put in some work, so... Unfortunately, it wasn't like a close battle or anything, so you guys probably won't see it, but... Uh, it's a it's definitely an interesting idea. I love the vibe of this team. It just looks really weird, but um, also this battle was uh, definitely not my best handiwork. I definitely made some really questionable plays, and uh, I'm sure you guys are going to crucify me in the comment section. But um, yeah, you guys have every right to. I made some really really stupid plays, and um, but anyway, I guess. Regardless of that, I hope you guys will enjoy the show. So the battle begins. My opponent is going to lead off with his Zapdos, as I'm going to lead off with my Landorus. Obviously, this is not the greatest of situations for your boy here, as I know most Zapdos do pack the HP Ice. So I'm actually going to decide to conserve my Landorus. I probably could have taken one and gotten my Stealth Rocks up but I kind of figured conserving my Landorus is probably a good idea, and uh, that is exactly what he goes for. I'm going to bring out my boy Mudpie here to eat that. I am max HP, max special defense, and uh, I can basically wall this Zapdos to the end of time, and uh, he knows that, so he's going to swap out into the Decidueye. This play was obvious, <laughs> so I'm going to go for the Toxic here and uh, basically just try to whittle away at this Decidueye as best I can. Uh, Decidueye could be annoying because it could get defog. Um, which I'm pretty sure he has, and uh, it could also be kind of a bulky set, or it could run like uh, like Swords Dance or something and try to sweep me or whatever, so if I could whittle away at this thing, that would be great. Here I'm going to swap out into my Zapdos, fearing the uh, Leaf Blade. <laughs> Mud Pie definitely does not want to fuck with that, and uh, once again, Zapdos can wall this thing till the end of time, and uh, he knows that, so he's actually going to U-turn out. He is going to take some Rocky Helmet damage, which is clean, and uh, he's going to bring out his own Zapdos. So we got some hot Zapdos on Zapdos action. Except I'm going to get the hell out of here and bring out my AV Magirna. Because I can basically eat anything this thing wants to go for. As he's just going to Volt Switch. And he brings out his Zygarde. Now the guys, this play was so bad. I'm so sorry guys, you have to see this. I, for whatever reason, thought maybe he would over predict. My opponent had no reason to not just click thousand arrows i don't know what the fuck i was thinking guys i have a perfectly good landorus that i could have gone into at full hp plus intimidate why the hell i sacked off my magirna i fucking don't know i had the ice beam on magirna that's what i was going for but holy hell that play was awful i'm so sorry you guys had to see that shit so anyway i bring out my landorus now and uh, i'm just gonna set up these stealth cocks as my opponent is going to bring out his skarm Kind of figured I could lock this thing in with my uh, Alolan Golem as my opponent is going to also set up his Stealth Cucks. And uh, so he can't swap. I'm just going to go for the Wild Charge and my opponent actually has the, uh, the well he has Rocky Helmet first, but he actually has the Whirlwind. So my plan of uh, locking this thing in here didn't exactly work. So I'm just going to, he's going to bring me out into my Landorus once again and get a useless Intimidate off. And uh, so here's another really terrible play by your boy here. So I actually go for the Earthquake, predicting him to go for Roost, but he actually, I actually outspeed him rather. 
and uh, so my earthquake literally was useless. <sighs> Excuse me, and he just got a free roost off. That was fucking awful. Two really, really bad plays from your boy, and <laughs> God, I'm so honestly, I didn't even want to post this battle. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> but it's whatever. I feel like you guys will get a kick out of that. So he's going to bring out his Swampert. I'm going to bring out my uh, Fetus guy. And uh, here he's going to swap out into the Decidueye. Now, I actually calced it. I can take a Spirit Shackle really badly. But I actually decide to take it and try to go for the Shadow Ball here on the Decidueye. But he's actually just going to go for the U-Turn. And uh, he's actually going to bring out his Zygarde. So... Zygarde is going to take this uh, <laughs> this spec Shadow Ball. It actually does a dick load of damage to this thing, all things considered. Zygarde is relatively bulky after all. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my Fetus guy because I don't want uh, I don't want Zygarde to claim another victim here. Unfortunately, I'm running out of options to deal with this thing. I bring out my boy Mud Pie here, and I was expecting to take that. A little bit better honestly but <laughs> as we'll see here the thousand arrows is just way too strong this thing is fucking choice banded as hell and uh, unfortunately it's gonna kill off mud pie so this damn Zygarde is a pain in my ass once again I don't know why I didn't go into fucking Landorus I could have had my Magearna I could have had my damn mud pie had I just gone into fucking Landorus I'm so dumb three really bad plays by your boy I was so bad this battle, oh my god. So I go for the HP Ice there and it finally kills that goddamn Zygarde, fuck. I was so happy, I was just so relieved when that thing finally went down. So here, this is probably the funniest play of the battle. He actually goes for the Ice, uh, ice Fang and misses, which actually puts me back into this game, regardless of how bad I'm playing, because I was actually trying to sack off my Landorus and I thought for whatever, if he, for whatever reason, went for the Protect, um, I would at least get some damage off. But he actually, because he misses, the Supersonic Sky Strike is actually going to kill off his Sharpedo. So that literally, just that little bit of hacks literally put me back into this game after being so behind. <laughs> that was so unreal. So here he's going to bring out his Swampert and... Here, I just decide to go ahead and sack off my Landorus like I was trying to do before. And uh, I'm going to bring out my boy Fetus here. And basically, I'm all I have to do is click Specs uh, Shadow Ball because it hits the majority of his team. Actually, I think it hits all of his team, at least neutrally, including this Skarmory. So I bring it out Skarm. He's going to take a dick load of damage from that, uh, that Shadow Ball there. And he's going to go for the Brave Bird. I can't remember if the Brave Bird recoil kills him, I don't think it does. And lol, I live on 69 HP, that is that is amazing. So yeah, it takes uh, it takes two Shadow Balls, but Skarmory's down finally. One of his walls is gone, which is great. And uh, here he's going to bring out the Decidueye, he's going to take some more Stealth Cox. He's going to take some Poison as I go ahead and swap out. And uh, I do have the Regenerator on my, uh, my Reuniclus and... <laughs> kind of interesting like you never you always see magic guard on reuniclus regenerator is kind of weird anyway i'm gonna bring out my zapdos as my opponent is just going to u-turn take another round of rocky helmet damage and uh he's gonna take even more stealth rocks next time he brings in decidueye which is great for me so here my opponent is going to bring out his own zapdos so once again we have some hot zapdos on zapdos action he's gonna go for the t-bolt as i go for discharge basically i'm trying to get as much damage on the zapdos as I can because I actually do have kind of a win con in the back but I actually choke here <laughs> so I should have instead of bringing out fetus here I should have brought out the Alolan golem because I actually if he's a bulky Zapdos I outspeed him because I'm actually uh, choice scarfed so I actually swap out fetus to get some regenerator health and uh, he actually goes for the t-bolt he actually crits me and that crit absolutely mattered but I think what I should have done is instead of bringing Fetus in in the first place, I should have just gone into my missing nut. And uh, yeah, that uh, this battle was a disaster. Oh my god. And to top it all off, that crit definitely, absolutely 100% mattered. Man, I'm embarrassed, guys. This is definitely not the quality of battle that you guys are used to from me. I'm... God, I'm making new plays left and right. 
But anyway, he's going to bring out his Decidueye on my Reuniclus, and that's going to finish me off. Good game, Kevin. This is actually the first time he's ever beaten me, um, which is pretty neat. So he definitely deserved it. He played really well, considering how badly I played. But anyway, we'll definitely have a rematch sometime. I always love battling this guy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, nonetheless, even though I'm an idiot sometimes. But uh, I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out.